Okay, so hari ni kita akan buat bab sukatan membulat. Okay, guys, we'll do circular meshes chapter. So, I assume semua kat sini form 5, ya. All of you here must be form 5 to know this chapter. Okay, so let me share screen. Okay, so circular mesh. Okay, guys. Bab ni kita cakap pasal apa? Can you tell me? What are we talking about here, guys? What shape? Bentuk apa? Cuba comment. What shape are we talking about? Okay, bulatan. very good. Yeah, betul. Bulatan. Circles. Okay, so I expect bulatan ini topik matematik kamu. Menengah rendah. This topic, circle, is in lower maths. Uh, lower form maths. Jadi, asas dia datang dari matematik. This is an addition. Dalam AdMats, kita belajar lebih mendalam. We are learning deeper about this topic. So, untuk mula, saya akan go to basic tentang bulatan dulu. I will start to talk about basics of circle first. Okay, guys? Basic only first. Then we go to the AdMats part. Okay, so kalau saya cuba lukis bulatan bagi kamu, I try to draw a circle for you. Huh? See carefully. Let me use blue color. Okay, bulatan lah. Macam ni. Not perfect ah guys. Yang ni, this is not perfect circle lah. Bukan bulatan yang perfect sangat. Sebab susah nak lukis yang perfect punya. Okay, guys. This point, kalau saya call it A. What do we call this point? Apa nama point ni? Ya, yeah, add match. Sorry lah. Ya, yeah, sama-sama. What do we call this point, guys? Yes, very good. Center of circle or pusat bulatan. Bagus. Okay, first checkpoint done. Center of circle. Eh, tak payah label lah. Nanti tak ada tempat pula. Okay, if I draw a point from the center of the circle, menyentuh ukur lilit bulatan, what do we call it? Jejari. Yes, very good. Radius or jejari. Bagus. Okay, R or J lah. Kita guna simbol dia. Okay. Kalau so, saya lukis kat sini, apa yang ni guys? What do we call this part on the circle? The whole thing over here. What is this called? Circumference, yes, correct. Not sector, Andy. This one, this whole thing, ukur lilit, like perimeter. This is called circumference, okay? Okay, other things. Kalau saya lukis satu garis lagi macam ni, what do we call this now? Apa diameter. jadi sekarang? Diameter. Yes, bagus, diameter, very good. Kalau saya pecah kepada yang ni, what do we call this, guys? Side minor. Yes, very good. I like your word. Minor sector. Bukan sector saja, tapi minor sector. Okay, very good. Lebih specific. This is a specific answer. Minor sector atau sector minor. Kalau yang ni pula guys, yang seluruh yang ni kita panggil apa? What do we call this? Yes, very good. Major sector, correct. Okay, minor sector, major sector. Berbeza. Huh? Okay, so lagi. Um, yang ni guys, what do we call this? This one only. The one I'm highlighting over here, this part. Lengkok, panjang lengkok. Yes, very good. Arc, minor arc. Yes, Tarun, very good. Minor arc. How about this, guys? This whole part over here? What is this? Just this part. Yes, very good, Chamnat. Major arc. Okay, lengkok major. Very good. Okay, other things? Uh, okay. Wait, uh, I try to modify the shape a bit. I draw down here. Now I change to wait. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Kamu dah jawab dah. Wait first. Okay, this guys, what do we call this? Kalau saya lukis garis macam ni, apa kita panggil dia? Yes, very good. Chord, okay? Atau perentas in BM. Huh? Chord is called perentas in BM. Yes, correct. Perentas. Okay, how about this one? What do we call this? Apa... Ungkapan untuk yang ni. What is this term? Yes, very good. Minor segment. Okay, or segment also correct lah. Minor segment. Okay, so other things. Hmm. Okay, so I rasa yang ni about everything already lah. About circle. Let me think lah. Anything else I missed out? Hmm. I rasa semua dah cover ya. Yeah. Okay, this is all about circles. So now, basic kamu kuko, you all basic very good about circles. I can see that. 
So, what is the total internal angle of circle, guys? Apakah jumlah sudut satu putaran bagi bulatan? Yes, very good. 360 okay, degrees. Okay, dalam matematik, in maths, we always learn in degree mode. But in ad maths, ah, very good, 2 pi. Okay, in ad maths, we learn something new. Kita belajar ah, benda baru. Ada satu lagi mode untuk menggambarkan sudut. There is another way of representing angles. Kita guna mode radian. We use radian mode, guys. Not only degree, but also radian mode. Okay, so saya nak tanya, guys, pi, nilai pi, the value of pi, is it in degree or radian? Can I ask you this? The constant pi, pemalah pi ni dalam darjah atau radian? Yeah, very good. Itu satu perkara yang banyak tak tahu. A lot don't know this. Pi tu sebenarnya dalam radian. How do I prove this, guys? Macam mana saya buktikan yang ni? Cuba lihat yang ni. Do you all know this fact, guys? Adakah kamu semua tahu yang ni? 180 darjah sama dengan pi radian. I hope you all know this. Huh? This is a fact. Okay. So if I ask you 360 darjah, berapa dalam pi? Can you tell me what's the answer? 360. Yes, very good. 2 pi radian. 90 degree, how much? 2 pi. <laughs> yes, very good. Pi over 2. Bagus. Kalau 45 darjah, guys, macam mana? 45 how? Wow, very good. Fast match. Very good. Pi over 4. Correct. Okay, enough of it today. Okay, guys, now I want to ask you. Is this our limit, guys? 360 degrees. Adakah wujud sesuatu sudut yang lebih besar daripada 360? Is there a, an angle larger than 360? Yes, very good. If you learn your Form 5, Chapter 6, Trigonometry, this is only one cycle. Satu putaran is 360. If I say two cycle, 720 degree can become. Ah, okay. Yeah, rotate many times, betul. Ini adalah putaran berulang kali. Tapi dalam bab ni, kita hadkan kepada 360 only. Nanti kamu belajar, you learn the trigonometry chapter, actually the angle can come up to 720. Okay, so just telling you only. So, line nak tanya. Okay, we talk about conversion now. Kita cakap pasal conversion dia. Eh, not yet. Jump to page. Wait now. I want to talk a bit about the conversion. Kamu semua confused tak guys? Are you confused when you convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees? Do you find any problem? Ada apa-apa masalah tak? Tukar dari darjah kepada radian, radian kepada darjah. No problem. Huh? Anyone got problem here? No. It's okay. I just make you understand lah the formula. Never mind. I still teach. Although you all no problem. Okay. So let's say I want to go from degree, DEG, to radian. Okay, Dalja kepada radian. Yeah, very good. Correct. Okay, so let's say degree to radian. Huh? I will explain to you mengapa formula dia macam ni. Why the formula is like this. This is the formula you all memorize, right? Okay, so why is the formula like this? Mengapa macam ni? Pi guys, can you remind me? Pi dalam radian atau Dalja? Cuba comment. Is pi in degrees or radian? Yes, very good, radian. Okay, you learn something. This one radian. This one also radian. Potong. Ini sebab darjah dengan darjah akan sama. The degrees will be equal to the degrees because radian already cancel off by the divide. Divide kita akan potong uh, unit. We will cut the unit of radian. This is why Conversion dia macam ni. Do you all know this? Kamu semua faham tak? Do you all learn this before? Belajar tak sebelum ni? This is the reason behind it. Ini adalah sebab di belakang dia. Mengapa penukaran dari darjah kepada radian kita darab 180 bahagi pi? You try to think guys. Let's say I now change the formula. Saya tukar formula dia sekarang. Uh, this one. Does it make sense, ah, guys? Adakah formula ni membawa makna tak? Kalau saya tukar dari darjah kepada radian. If I convert from degree to radian, does this formula make sense? Can you tell me? Adakah ia ada maksud ke tak? Yes, very good. We will get radian square. Tengok kat sini unit, guys. You have radian times radian. Kalau radian darab dengan radian, kamu dapat apa? Radian kuasa dua bahagi dengan darjah. Kamu tak akan dapat darjah saja. 
So this is why the formula untuk convert dari darjah kepada radian bukan macam ni. Yang ni salah. Okay, this is wrong. So whenever you stuck in the exam, bila kamu dah lupa macam mana nak convert dari darjah ke radian, if you suddenly forget the exam, how to convert degrees to radian, always remember this one. Check the unit. Tengok unit dia. Ah, Yes, very good. Kena tengok unit dia. Then only you will understand. Bukan memorize. Jangan hafal. Kamu kena faham. You have to understand. Okay? So, kamu boleh cuba. You see, you try this and see. Ada makna. Is it logic? Ha? Adakah ya logic tak logic? Jadi, formula ni salah. This is how we check. Ini cara kita nak pastikan. Okay? So, I hope everyone clear with this. So, other than that, okay, we go to the formula. Sekarang kita pergi formula. I think you all okay up till here. So, guys, in circular measure, ha? take note ah semua. Dua formula saja diberikan dalam kertas exam kamu. For circular measure, only two formulas provided in admatch formula sheet. Ha? Ada lebih banyak formula sebenarnya. Tapi hanya satu dengan dua aja diberikan. Okay. So, I think total ada macam empat ke hingga ke lima formula. Tambah dengan formula trigonometri kamu guys. Kamu kena tahu. You need to remember your form 4 chapter. Penyelesaian segi tiga. Ada beberapa formula kat sini. Macam ni. Kamu boleh guna untuk bab ni sebenarnya. You can apply these formulas into this chapter. Semua ingat tak formula-formula ni semua? Do you remember guys all these formulas you learn in form 4? Formula-formula ni sangat berguna untuk selesaikan masalah dalam bab ni. So it's related, berkait. Okay, so this one actually given I think dalam uh, formula list. So tak perlu hafal lah yang ni. Okay, so other than that... Hmm, Okay, I try to explain this formula, okay? Saya akan cuba terangkan kat kamu macam mana dapat formula ni, okay? I'll prove to you this formula now. Okay, guys, so... Can you see this formula, guys? We go number 28 first, huh? Kita tengok formula yang ni dulu, 28. Can you see the similarity over here, guys? Boleh nampak persamaan dia tak? Yang ni dengan yang ni. Okay, you can see the similarity, right? Hmm. You can see over here, R square is basically your AB over here. Yes, yeah, constant 1 over 2, correct. And theta here, theta guys, can I, can you remind me all the theta here, radian atau darjah, kena gantikan? Is it you sub the value in radian or degrees? Yes, correct. Always in these formulas, radian. Ah. When do you use degrees, guys? Can you remind me? Bila kita boleh sub darjah, when can we substitute degrees? In what condition? Yes, very good, Farihin. Sign. Kena ada sign kat uh, apa, formula 2. Bila kamu letak sign je, sign tu selalu akan ikut theta. Theta akan berada dalam darjah selalunya. Tak boleh ganti dengan radian. Whenever you see sign, cos, tan, always the theta here is in degrees. Ingat guys, remember this. Always the theta will be in darjah. Okay, cannot be radian. So if they give the question in radian, Kamu kena convert kepada darjah dulu, baru gantikan dalam formula ni. Okay, you need to convert radian to degree mode first, then only you substitute inside the trigonometric function. Okay, so until ya semua faham? You all understand this? Good ah, okay. So next page. So now I'm going to prove to you this formula. Saya akan buktikan kepada form, uh, kamu formula ni supaya kamu faham. So that you understand where this formula come from actually. Okay guys, you learn in your modern maths. Kamu belajar kan matematik modern kamu satu formula to count this quantity. Untuk mengira quantity yang ni. I hope you all still remember this formula. Semua ingat tak formula ni? Masih ingat ke? Do you all remember this formula, guys? In your modern maths, kat matematik modern kamu, topik bulatan ni. Remember, ah, masih ingat. Okay, bagus. Can you tell me, guys, this one? 2 pi r actually represent what formula? 2 pi r ni mewakili quantity apa? Very good, circumference. Okay. This theta, is it in degrees or radian mode? Darjah ke radian theta ni? Yes, very good, degree mode. That is why we can apply this formula. Because this is degree, this is degree. Now, let's say we do the admat's way. Sekarang kita nak tukar kepada kaedah admat. 
Okay, come ah. We saw how to prove the formula above. Okay, nah. okay, length of arc. Kita salin yang ni tak berubah. Kita nak cari length of arc atau panjang lengkok sekarang. 2 pi r kekal tak boleh ubah. Okay, now I want to change my darjah kepada radian. Let's say our theta now is in radian. Saya uh, letak simbol r kat kecil tu kat atas tu menggambarkan radian. I put the r to show radian mode. 360 degrees, guys. How many radian? Can you tell me? 360 darjah berapa radian? Very good. 2 pi. Guys, can you see now how the formula come from? Boleh nampak ke tak? Can you see how? 2 pi, 2 pi. Cancel. Length of arc equals to R theta radian. This is your formula, guys, in AdMats. Ini adalah formula yang kamu dapat. Tengok, sangat senang saja nak buktikan. Very easy to prove the formula, you see. I prove for you already how they get this formula. Can you understand, guys? Boleh faham macam mana dapat formula ni? Dari kaedah mathematic modern. From the modern maths method. Okay. So now I prove for you area of sector pula. I show you how to prove area of sector formula. Okay, I ask you guys, area of sector, kalau nak cari dalam mathematic modern, what do we put bottom here guys? Apa yang kita letak? Area of sector over, apa quantity tu kat bawah pecahan? Yes, very good tahun, pi r square. Sama dengan theta, selalu theta bagi 360 darjah. Yang ni selalu ada, always here. Okay, so now, let's say I want to convert to add match method. Ingat lah guys, AdMats boleh guna formula maths. Tapi matematik tak boleh guna formula AdMats. Huh? Just want to tell you. Itu cara dia, this is how it works lah in the exam. Okay, so area of sector. Sector saya buat macam ni. Pi R square. Okay guys, again. 360 degrees, berapa, darja, berapa radian guys? 360, how many radians? How many? 360 degrees. Tukar kepada radian. Dapat berapa? Yes, very good. 2 pi. Okay. So now you see pi and pi I can cut. Okay, pi dengan pi saya boleh potong. So area of sector is, if you try to do some algebra, you will get formula kamu. Can you understand guys? Ini cara saya buktikan formula ni juga. This is how I prove the area of sector formula. Senang saja nak buktikan. Very easy. Just use back your modern maths formula to prove the whole concept. Okay, gunakan balik formula modern maths kamu untuk membuktikan konsep ni. So, senang saja. Okay. Hmm, boleh guna lah nota ni nanti. Mungkin exam akan tanya kot, buktikan formula ni kat saya. If the exam suddenly as you proof out this formula to me, kamu tahu kaedah dia macam mana. Okay, so next page. Um, okay, well, one more page here. Anything else? Okay, guys, let's talk about circle again. Nah. Sekarang saya akan rumuskan semua formula kepada kamu dalam satu derajah. I will summarize all the formulas we have in this chapter in one single diagram. Okay? Guys, this is we call arc. Okay? Ini macam nota lah bagi kamu. Arc has the formula S sama dengan R theta dalam bentuk radian. Okay guys, this is number one formula. Formula pertama dalam circular measure. Sekut sukatan membulat. Okay? So now, seluruh yang ni. Ini adalah sektor. So, sector ada formula. Sector as a formula of, we call lah guys, jawab kat diri kamu. Apa jawapan dia? Tanya diri dan jawab kepada diri. You have to respond to yourself because I don't want to ask this question kepada kamu. Kamu dah tahu. But just to recall, A equals half R squared theta radian. Okay, dua formula dah. Sama. Kalau saya bahagikan macam ni. This part, number 3, saya label 3 ha. What is the shape of number 3, guys? Can you tell me? Apa bentuk number 3? Based on the diagram over here. 
apa bentuk nombor tiga ni yang saya label? Yes, very good tahun triangle atau segi tiga. So triangle Yes, isosceles triangle, correct. Okay, so isosceles triangle maksudnya segi tiga sama kaki. Mengapa segi tiga sama kaki, guys? Why is it isosceles triangle? Can anyone explain to me? Mengapa yang ni segi tiga? Yes, because the radius sama nilai. Okay, R, R dengan R. Okay, very good. So, kamu boleh guna mana-mana formula kat bawah ni. Both also same, no different. Okay. So, guys, I want to ask you, half base times height, boleh tak guna dalam bab ni, guys? Can we use this formula untuk kira luas segi tiga dalam bab sukatan membulat ni? In this chapter, can we use half base times height? Yeah, too long. Okay, not practical. Yang ni bukan practical. Kaedah yang bukan practical. Boleh, can, but not practical. Sebab jalan kira dia agak panjang, quite long. Okay, so I advise you all to use these two formulas first before thinking about this. Sebelum fikir yang ni, fikir yang ni dengan yang ni dulu untuk cari luas. Okay, so some more, there is still some more to fill in the diagram. Wait, huh? I want to make this macam nota ringkas untuk kamu semua. Okay, so we look at the diagram again over here. Okay, guys, I want to find out the luas number 4. I want to find out the area of number 4. Can you give me an idea? Macam mana nak cari luas yang number 4 tu? How to find the number 4 area? Just tell in words. Cakap dalam perkataan saja. Minus sector minus triangle. Very good. So, ini juga salah satu formula dalam bab ni. This is also another formula. We call number four as segment. Kita panggil dia segment. Okay, so saya akan guna simbol. Ha. Kat exam, kamu boleh tulis simbol macam ni juga untuk menggambarkan sektor. You can show the sign to actually represent a sektor. Bukan salah, ha, guys. Betul. Boleh tulis macam ni. Kalau kamu tak now tulis perkataan sektor tu. If you don't write the, write the word sektor, you can draw out this. Kalau kamu malas nak tulis segi tiga, kamu boleh lukis macam ni juga. Okay? So, tak salah. So, area of sector, the formula is like this. Area of triangle, macam kat nombor tiga tu, sama saja. So, this is your formula, guys. Ini adalah formula keempat kamu. This is how I actually put Formula number four lah. Selalunya buku akan cakap yang ni je. They will give you this formula directly. But this is the method how you get this formula. Boleh faham tak guys? Can you understand how I get this formula? Untuk kira area of segment. Selalu kamu akan guna yang ni. Sangat biasa. Hmm. Okay, understand lah. Good. So, I think that's all the formulas. Let me check ah. Hmm. S equals. Okay. Ah, one more guys, one more. Sorry. Kamu tahu tak guys, formula untuk perlentas. Do you all know the formula of a chord? Can you all type out for me if you know? Yang ni bu, uh, juga agak berguna lah. It's quite useful. Chord formula. Anyone know the formula? If you don't know, boleh cakap tak tahu juga. Jangan risau. If you don't know, just say don't know. Okay, nama I share to you all lah. Chord formula is like this. Yang ni tak diberi dalam kertas exam. Eh, sorry. I write down lah. No place tadi. Okay, guys. This is the chord formula. Anyone seen this formula before? Siapa-siapa pernah nampak tak formula ni? Seen ah? Oh, some people never see. So, try to remember lah. This formula not provided ah. Tak diberi dalam kertas uh, exam kamu. So, kena ingat. 
Okay, so that's one more formula. So I rasa total, this is the fifth one, kelima. So another thing you all must know, theta degrees to theta radian, remember, times pi over 180, yang ni conversion dia. Kalau kamu nak pergi dari radian kepada darjah, darab 180 bahagi dengan pi. Okay, so basically semua dah ada kat sini, satu page. Oh, no need, tahu, no need to know this, how to derive this formula. Tak perlu tahu, they won't ask you. This one is not under the level of you all. No need to know this. <laughs> I also never study actually how to derive this. Saya pun tak belajar macam mana nak dapat formula ni. No need to know. Okay. So, until here, semua jelas. Before we go to some questions, I rasa saya dah cakap everything about this bab already. Mm, let me think. Uh, anything else I want to tell you all? Um, the last. Okay, good. Okay, guys. So I want to ask you. When they ask you to count area, perimeter, macam tu, berapa decimal places you all will give? Berapa titik perpuluhan? Jawapan akhir kamu. Yes, very good. Tahun 4. Eh, hey, Sugan, fine. No need. Nah. I say decimal place. Bukan angka berarti. Not significant figure. I'm asking decimal place. No need five, yeah? Four maximum. Max already. Okay, jangan bagi satu. Ah. Satu tu terlalu sikit for SPM level. Okay, one is too little. Two. Uh, okay, okay. Three tu bagus lah. Empat tu lagi bagus. Because four means very accurate already. Okay. So, kadang-kadang, have you all experienced this, guys? Pernah tak kamu lalui situasi ini bila buat bila buat bab ni sometimes your final answer akan sikit berbeza dengan jawapan dalam skema have you all experienced this your final answer sometimes slightly different from the answer in the scheme you got experience right this problem i'm sure everyone here experience okay correct so don't worry mungkin akan ada sedikit perbezaan sebab you are using a lot of formulas here guys kalau kamu tiba-tiba round off bila kamu bundakan tiba-tiba dalam bab ni Nilai dia akan lari pada jawapan akhir. The value will run, in, run away from the final answer because you bundalkan. That's why advice saya dalam bab ni, guna nilai benar dalam calculator. Use the exact value that you obtain for each calculation in the calculator. Don't round off and then use that value for the following step. Jangan guna nilai yang dibundalkan bagi langkah-langkah yang akan datang. Use exact value in calculator. Sebab skema jawapan, the answer scheme is based on the exact value in calculator. So, kalau kamu nak dapat sebiji macam skema, if you want to get exactly like the scheme, don't round off. Jangan bundakan. Okay, so can you understand this point? Boleh faham tak? Jangan bundakan sekali, sesekali pun. Hmm. Give it to the most accurate answer. Just in case lah, kalau mereka tak terima jawapan akhir kamu sebab masalah ini. Tapi kamu tahu buat soalan sebenarnya. You actually know how to do but it's just a technical thing lah. Okay. So other than that, um, I think nothing. So we go one more part. So this one is basically, uh, we go to this already lah. Basically. So this one mereka cakap pasal hubungan antara panjang lengkok dengan sudut dia. This is the relation between arc length and the angles. So if you see right, S equals R theta radian. Can you all tell me guys, S dengan theta radian ini berkada langsung atau berkada songsang? Is the relationship between S and theta radian direct or inverse? Yes, very good, direct. Okay, macam mana saya buktikan dia adalah direct? You can do some shifting. Kamu boleh lihat kat sini. Theta radian berkada langsung dengan S. But, theta radian is berkada songsang dengan jejari. Okay? The value of the angle is inversely proportional to the angle, to the radius, but directly proportional to the length of up. Okay? So, semakin besar the sudut, semakin besar dia punya panjang lengkok. Very understandable, guys, this statement. You can see over here. I try to make you understand, ha, bagi kamu faham. Let's say saya ada situasi satu dengan situasi dua. Okay, radius constant lah. Kena assume jejari dia pemalah. I have to assume the radius for these two circle is constant. 
Boleh bagi tahu saya tak guys, which angle is larger over here? Number one or number two? Sudut mana yang lebih besar? Yes, very good. Number two, you can see easily. So can you compare guys? Tengok dia punya panjang lengkok. Try to see the length of arc. Which one is bigger? Number one or number two? Very good. So this is how I prove the relationship. Ini cara saya buktikan hubungan dia. Semakin besar sudut ni, sangat pun lower lah. Semakin besar panjang lengkok. Directly proportional. This is for the relation as directly proportional to theta radian. Okay, this is theta radian. This is theta radian. Okay, so I try to prove the second one also to you all. Ini juga sebagai nota lah bagi kamu. Let's say I got two circle again. But now the radius is different. So I want to investigate. Saya nak kaji bagaimana jejari mempengaruhi panjang lengkok. How does the radius actually affect uh, the length of arc? So let me think. Huh? Hmm. Oh, saya kena lukis sekel dia lebih besar. Ayat, ha? Not directly proportional, tahu. Now we're talking about length of arc and radius. Not the angle anymore. So now it's different a bit. Ayat, ha? Draw a big circle. Okay, now better. Length of arc radius. Okay, so can you tell me, guys? Between these two angles must be constant, ah. Sekarang saya assume sudut antara dua jejari ini, the angle between the two radiuses are constant, ah. So can you tell me number one, number two? Jejari mana yang lebih panjang? Which radius is longer over here? Based on what you see, yes, number two. But can you see, ah, guys? Which length of arc is longer? Panjang lengkok mana yang lebih panjang sekarang? Antara satu dan dua ni. Try to see carefully. One or two? Which length of arc longer? Yes, correct. One. You can see over here. I try to draw the arrow. Okay, this one without measurement. Ah. So, mungkin sudut saya tak begitu tepat. But if you draw on a paper, you can see it clearly. Kalau kamu lukis atas kertas, kamu akan tahu. If you constant this angle, kamu akan... Tengok, yang ni sebenarnya lebih panjang berbanding yang ni. So, this is the relation between S is inversely proportional. Berkadar songsang dengan jejari. Okay, guys. So, this is also another note for you. Salah satu lagi nota bagi kamu. Okay. So, until you can understand, now we go question. Kita pergi soalan sekarang. 30 minutes, we talk a bit. So, one hour, kita practice. Satu jam, kita buat soalan. Until you, everyone okay, can respond. Okay, good. Huh? So now we go question. Come. Okay, trial Negeri Sembilan, 2022. Negeri Sembilan trial 2022. Huh? So they say radius of circle is 5 cm. Selalu highlight kata kunci macam ni. Always highlight the keywords. So if this OQ is 5 cm as labeled in the diagram, apa panjang OP guys? What is the length of OP? If you understand the term radius. Kalau kamu faham jejari itu apa? Yes, correct. 5 cm also. Okay, this is the radius of the circle. You can see over here. It's the same length. Okay. So, sekarang mereka nak perimeter of the whole diagram, guys. They want perimeter seluruh wajah ni. Maksudnya, kamu kena tahu panjang yang ni dulu. You need to know this length. Then you know the whole perimeter. Okay. So, sekarang kamu kena tahu sudut yang ni dulu. So, can you tell me, guys, what is the value of this angle? Apa nilai sudut ni? Yes, very good. 270. Okay, very good. So, how you get 270? Total sudut saya datanya sebelum ni, in the bulatan is 360 darjah. Yes, minus 90 degrees. You get 270 degrees. Okay, sekarang. Yang ni, what do we call, guys? Apa yang ni? What is the term for this? The PQ. Yang ni, yang saya highlight. Yes, not major sector. So, again, major arc. We're talking about the arc now. Okay, so we use the formula S sama dengan R theta radian. Okay, this one, I'm not talking the inside one. Saya tanya yang ni saja. Just this one. Yang kat luar one, The outer part only. So, it's called arc. Okay, not this one inside here. So, the radius we already know. Kita tahu jejari dia lima. Okay, guys, now you have to convert. 
Tak boleh guna 270 darjah. You cannot use that one. So try to convert and see. Kamu tukar dari darjah kepada radian. Jadi darab macam ni. Okay, not pi over 2. Huh? Pi over 2 is for 90 degree. Okay, so 3 pi over 2 is basically 1.5 pi lah. Okay, so betul lah. 270 ni adalah titik tengah antara 180 darjah dan uh, 360 darjah. Why can't we use degrees directly? This is like complete, complicating the problem. Oh, good question. You mean why do we have to use theta radian? Is this what you mean, Tarun? Okay, good question. Okay, let's say you use degrees. I try to count for you. Huh? See whether it makes sense or not. Theta radian, the angle you got 270. Kamu dapat 270. Try to count for me this length of arc. How long is this? 270 over 360. No, no, no. We don't take over 360. Kita ambil nilai sebenar. We have to take the exact value. We cannot just take, the, take over 360 like that. Because we are subbing the angle value itself. Bukan pecahan dia. We want to know the exact value. Nilai sebenar sudut tu. So we cannot take a ratio. Kita tak boleh ambil nisbah. Okay, so if you sub in degree mode, kalau kamu gantikan dalam bentuk darjah, look at the length, guys. Munasabah tak? Panjang lengkok yang ni. Is this logical? The length of arc is 1350 cm. Satu meter lebih yang ni guys. This is apa? Satu kilometer dah sebenarnya. Eh not kilometer sorry. Uh, how to convert? Unto. 13 meter. Ah, uh, Not logic right? 13 meter ruler. Kamu cuba bayang, bayangkan. Yang meter ruler panjang tu 13 kali. This is your length of arc. Look at the diagram guys. I know the diagram too bukan mengikut skala. The diagram is not drawn according to the scale, but be a bit logic lah. We have to think logically. So that is why we have to use radian mode. Because radian mode akan bagi nilai yang lebih kecil kepada kita. Selalunya bentuk radian akan bagi nilai yang lebih kecil. Kamu cuba kira yang ni. Very, very small the value actually. So pi ni, uh, I want to ask you guys. Do we need to sub the value of pi over here guys? Adakah kita kena gantikan nilai pi kat sini? No, okay, see the question. In terms of pi, soalan nak dalam sebutan pi. So, kita kekalkan sebagai pi. We, we, we remain it as pi. So, 270 divided 180, you get 1.5 pi. Okay, then plus 5 plus 5. So, this is your answer, plus 10. Okay, so you can see the working over here. Okay, so you will get uh, eh, 15 over 2 pi. Uh. Wait now, guys. Oh, tak darab dengan lima lagi. Must times by five. Because I want length of arc. Okay, sorry. So, you will get 15 over 2 pi plus 10. Or 7.5. Kamu boleh letak 7.5 pi tambah 10 pun boleh. Okay, so this is your final answer. Boleh faham, guys? Can you understand? Up till here? Soalan pertama ni kita dah selesaikan. Okay, good. If anyone don't understand, please tell lah. You can stop me. Jangan risau. Boleh berhentikan saya. Okay, second question. We still do basic question. Okay, so don't worry. I actually arrange the question according to difficulty level. Saya susun soalan ikut tahap kesukaran dia sebenarnya. So, bukan random saja. Okay, so you see here. It is given the arc length PQ is 9 cm. Okay, label. Bila ada info jar, terus label kat soalan. This you must practice. Okay, POQ, perimeter. Ah. Perimeter POQ is this one. Ini adalah perimeter POQ. Okay, wow, very fast. R is 5 cm. Okay, so 9 tambah R, we can assume this as R. R tambah R sama dengan perimeter given 19. So 2R is 10. R is 5. Okay, so R is 5. R is 5. Okay, guys, can you calculate the theta over here now? Remember, uh, degree mode, jangan bagi dalam radian. Yang lain juga cuba, others also try to do. What answer you will get? Just give final answer, Tarun. No need to show the whole working. Terus bagi jawapan akhir, guys. 
Hey, Favi, Favahin, Dauja, Kamuguna formula ni radiant. Have to convert. Yes, correct, Tawun. Convert to degree. Yeah, correct, Andy. So, what's your answer? Kalau kamu convert, dapat berapa Dauja? How many degrees you guys get? <laughs> no need to say 8 minute tahun. Just straight away 103.13 degree. Tak perlu bagi dalam dauja dan minute, guys. Bagi kepada dua tempat perpuluhan. Give to two decimal place. Okay, so this is your answer for A. Okay. POQ is 19 cm. So does it include? Yes, of course, Sugan. Because perimeter is everything. Uko lili. Perimeter is like the outer part of the whole sector over here. Like this. So it does include the arc length. Dia merangkumi panjang lengkok tu. Okay, so question A, the working is like this. You can see over here. So you see how I do over here. You see, you can assume. Kamu boleh katakan sekat sini. Let the radius of sector P or Q equals R. Kamu kena tulis yang ni. Sebab tiba-tiba muncul R, maybe the examiner will be confused. Mungkin pemeriksa tu akan tertanya-tanya. Mengapa tiba-tiba datang R ni? So you just make an assumption on top there of your paper that R actually mewakili jejari kamu. R represent the radius of your uh, sector. Okay. So you can actually find out your final answer. 103.13. Okay. So this is for A. Now we go to B. Part B. Perimeter of sector QR. Okay, now I ask you back, Sugan. Perimeter sector QR, do we need to include the arc length of QR? Adakah kita kena uh, ambil QR yang tu? Yes, correct. Okay. So make sure you all include the arc length also. So this is the perimeter. So basically, kamu dah tahu jejari dia, lima, lima. So you need to count this arc length. So can you tell me, guys, your answer for QR directly? Saya nak jawapan panjang lengkok QR. The length of RQR directly. Berdasarkan sudut yang kamu dapat kat sini. Kamu akan guna sudut dalam bentuk darjah atau radian, guys. Will you use the angle in degrees or radian mode? First question. Bila kamu buat pengiraan ini. When you do this calculation, yes, always radian, remember. Huh? So yang mana lebih senang, guys? Nak mula dari yang ni atau nak mula dari 1.08 tu? Will you start with this one or this one? Okay, Samo. Yang lain, what answer do you get? Fifteen point four. Oh, your final answer. Oh, kamu semua ada bagi jawapan ah. Hey, okay, okay. Okay, let me count ah. Ah, tahun slightly a bit out your answer for perimeter. I think you're counting the whole value, right? Ah, how you got fifteen point four? Did you like round off or but that's quite far for round off okay guys so the answer is like what samnat said 16.708 is your answer itu jawapan dia okay you can see over here this is the working how it looks like okay for number b yeah kalau kamu nak cari sudut qr2 if you want to find the angle of qr you just take pi minus 1.8 Kamu ambil pi tolak 1.8 sahaja. Because pi is 180 darjah. 180 darjah adalah sudut bagi semicircle. Okay, this is the angle for semicircle, 180 degrees. Okay, so pi minus 1.8, kamu akan dapat sudut QOR2. You will get the angle of QOR. So then, you just times 5. Sebab 5 tu adalah jejari. 5 is the radius. So S is R theta radian. R is 5. 
the theta radian yang kamu dapat is 1.34. So kamu gantikan saja dalam formula. Just substitute. So you will get the panjang lengkok, the length of arc. Uh, 6 point, yeah, correct. 6.708 is 6.71 lah. Betul lah, Daniel. Not wrong. You can write 6.71 also. No worries. But final answer, if you want, just give it to four, four decimal place. Jawapan akhir bagi kepada empat tempat perpuluhan. Okay, so that is why I say don't round off early. Jangan bundakan terlalu awal dalam minda kamu. Use the value in the calculator. Ikut nilai dalam calculator. Okay? 22 over 7 or 3.142. Okay, good question, Tarun. Soalan yang bagus. So we try to refer back to the question over here. Do they say anything about guna pi sama dengan apa? Can you tell guys? Did the question mention use pi equal something? Did the question specify a value? No, very good. So what value do you use? Anyone got idea? Nilai pi apa kamu kena guna? Very good, Shamnat. Correct. Use the pi in the calculator. Guna nilai pi dalam calculator. Jangan pilih antara 22 over 7 dan 3.142. Don't choose between two. Use the exact value of pi you have in your calculator because yang tu lah yang akan bagi jawapan yang uh, tepat sekali. It will give the accurate answer because pi value in the calculator is not rounded off. Tidak dibundarkan. Nilai sebenar pi. Okay, the actual value of pi is in your calculator. Okay, so good. So we done this one, I think. Let me see. Okay, so you will get your final answer over here. 16.7080. So this one is the radius. Just plus the two radius plus the length of arc. Panjang lengkok. So jawapan kat sini. So until here, everyone understand? Semua faham? Okay, good. You all exam next week, ah. Kamu semua punya admit exam minggu depan atau dah habis? Just want to know only. Already finished, ayo. <laughs> Never mind lah, this will be, oh next week, okay. Oh depan, okay, bagus lah. Kalau kelas ni, I rasa bab ni akan keluar. Hmm, this one will come out one, so good lah. For those next week. For those yang dah habis, don't worry, this is this bab akan keluar untuk trials kamu. So, it's also useful for you sebenarnya. Okay, so next one. Wah, October trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct lah. October 15. Hmm, correct lah. Kamis malam. Yeah, banyak exam and maths Kamis, saya tahu. Okay, so we look back at the question. Uh, okay, piece of wire length 95 cm. Can you tell me guys, piece of wire ni menggambarkan quantity apa? Very good tahun perimeter. Always when they talk about wire, it's always about perimeter, guys. Bila kamu nampak dawai sahaja seluaran nak kaitkan dengan perimeter. That's all. Nothing else. Okay? R is 20. Okay, let me see. Huh? This one 55. Soalan dah bagi. Yes, correct. 20, 20. Kamu boleh tambah. R tambah R tambah 55 sama dengan 95. So, 2 R sama dengan 40. R sama dengan 20. Okay? So, this is how we get the R value. So then read the question, P O Q in radian. Okay guys, which formula we use? Formula apa kita guna? Sekarang nak cari sudut ni. You want to find this angle. Which formula? Yes, very good. R theta is 55. Okay, so your R is 20. Yang ni senang saja, tak perlu convert pun. Okay, what's your final answer guys? Can you tell me? Jawapan akhir? Yeah, very good. 2.75 radian accurate. Okay, so tak ada apa-apa lagi titik perpuluhan, so we leave it as 2.75 only. Jawapan akhir kita. Okay, so this question, everyone understand? Semua faham? Don't worry guys, soalan lebih mencabar datang. The other questions are coming. I know very easy now for you all. <laughs> Saya tahu sangat senang untuk kamu semua sekarang. Don't worry, it will come. Uh, no need, Andy. Because, eh, Daniel, sorry. 2.75. Tak perlu letak kosong-kosong like this. No point. Because the answer, the total answer itself is 2.75. So you no need to give kosong-kosong. No point. Tak ada makna. Okay, Daniel? Hmm. If you get that value exactly, you can direct just write only. No need to add on extra decimal places. Tak perlu tambah titik perpuluhan dia. 
okay so next one you can see over here next question okay this one is so quite basic it's all on basic lagi but slightly up lah the level okay so this one they say center o radius 5 cm okay guys can you tell me tiga garis three lines that can represent radius of 5 cm yang boleh mewakili jejari 5 cm mana tiga garis can you tell me the label cuba bagi tahu saya label dia oc oc eh samna dia typo Ya, yeah, OB, correct. OC, OB, OA. Very good. Okay, kamu dah dapat semua. So, lima, lima, lima. Okay, tak ada lima lagi. So, now they give you an info. Area of rectangle is 40 cm square. Okay, this is a useful info. Info yang sangat berguna sebenarnya. Area of rectangle is length times width. And is equal to 40. This is the width of the rectangle. Ini adalah lebar rectangle kamu. So, L, bracket lima. Sama dengan 40. Means that your L is 8 cm. Okay. So this length. Panjang ni 8. Panjang ni juga 8. Okay. So you have one panjang AQ guys. What is the length of AQ? Yes. Very good. 3. 8 minus 5. Okay. So I try to zoom in. Huh, because this one a bit detailed this diagram. Kalau saya zoom in baru boleh nampak. Let me delete the other things first. Saya cuba label balik ha, supaya senang nampak. Okay, 5, 5 and this one 5. Yang ni total 8. This one 3. This one also 5. This one 8. Okay, ini adalah diagram yang lengkap. Okay, sekarang mereka nak cari yang ni. They want to find this angle. Okay guys, how do we find this? Macam mana nak cari theta ni? Nilai theta. Tangent 8 over 5. Yes, very good. You still remember the tangent. Okay, guys. Jangan lupa basic. Kamu belajar benda kompleks sekarang. Now you learn a complex formula. But don't forget the simple formula, guys. Toa. So, ka toa. Sebab, what is this angle, guys? Can you tell me? Apa jumlah sudut ni? What is the value? Yes, right angle triangle. 90 darjah. Okay, so this is why kita boleh aplikasikan so katwa ini. So katwa hanya kepada 90 darjah. Only limited to 90 degree. Remember, huh? sudut yang lain tak boleh guna. Kalau triangle kamu macam 120, 30, 30, so katwa ni tak boleh guna. Huh? Hanya untuk 90 darjah. Only for 90 degrees angle. So you can use 8 over 5. Like what? Tahun said. So can you tell me what is your theta value in degree first? Dalam darjah. Berapa theta kamu? I want to see you all know how to press calculator or not. Macam mana kamu kira guna calculator? Okay, yes. Yeah, 57.99 or you can say 58 or so lah. Okay, because 0.99 kamu boleh bundakan. Because, eh, no ni, no ni. Uh, Sugen, don't bundakan to 58. Why? Eh? Because it's 57.994. If it's 57.995, kamu boleh bundakan kepada 58. Okay, because it's 5 here only, you can change to 58. But since over here is 4, so don't bundakan. Leave it as 57.99. Okay, 5 dan atas je kita bundakan. The value at the back here, 5 or more, then only we round off. Okay, so remember that one. Just in case lah, the value lari sikit dari jawapan akhir. So 57.99, can you tell me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, recording akan dihantar kepada aku. No worries. Okay, so 57.99. Welcome. Good luck, okay? Class tambahan. Fighting, fighting. 57.99 in radian. Apa jawapan dia, guys? Cuba convert. One point oh one two one. Yes, correct. Okay, very good. Okay, so jawapan yang kamu akan dapat adalah. Oh, I didn't insert yet. Sorry, ya. Huh? Wait, uh, guys. Let me show your an show my answer over here. Okay. 
can see my screen right guys boleh nampak screen kan where is it uh, is it this one huh? one point ah betul okay this is the working for this question ini adalah jalan kira okay nanti i will insert this in the slide before i send you all okay so this is how we do the whole working lah basically so do you all understand this question boleh faham soalan a ni Okay, faham ah. Okay, we go to 6B now. 6B. Okay. Area of sector A, O, A, B. Sekarang mereka nak cari luas sector pula. Okay, which formula guys? Area of sector, what's the formula? Formula untuk luas sector. Yeah, okay, 0 0.5 R square theta or 1 over 2 R square theta. Very good. Okay, so wait, huh? So OAB, not yet. OAB. And, okay, so we zoom in and see, huh? Because this one is a bit small. Okay, max. This one we got just now is 1.0121 radian, if you all still remember. So what is this angle, guys? Macam mana nak cari sudut ni? How do we find this angle? Because we want the area of this sector right now. What is our idea to find this angle? If you all know the answer, boleh bagi tahu jawapan terus lah. If you can find out this angle. Dalam radian lah guys, give your answer in radian. Berikan jawapan kamu dalam radian. Are you sure? Eh, 2.13 is quite big. Yang lain, what is this angle? Apa sudut ni? Yeah, I think you're confused there. 90 degrees, guys. Yang ni 90 darjah sebab segi empat tempat. Rectangle has always 90 degrees. So what's your answer now? Apa jawapan kamu? Yes, very good. 0 0.5587 or 0 0.56. Okay, can. So use the value in the calculator, guys. Guna nilai dalam calculator kamu. Sebenar punya. Don't round off yet. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Tak boleh guna pi, ya, guys, kat calculator. Lihat soalan. Use pi equals 3.142. Jadi, bila kamu ganti dalam formula kamu, cari tu pi punya, you have to sub pi equals 3.142. Ah, Cannot just tulis pi macam tu. Kalau kamu tulis pi, maksudnya kamu tak gantikan nilai pi yang diberikan. You just write the symbol pi means you actually didn't substitute the values over here. Okay. So uh, 3.142. Hey, wait, I can use the calculator. 142 over 2 minus 1.0121. Okay, you will get 0 0.5589 also. Lah. Sama jawapan dia. Okay, so same thing. So now, uh, okay. Can you tell me, guys, apa luas sector ni sekarang? You can count already because you have this angle already. Apa jawapan kamu untuk B? Luas sector OAB. Give your answer to four decimal place. Berikan jawapan kamu kepada empat tempat perpuluhan. 6.98, very good, accurate, 6.9860, okay, bagus, tak ada apa-apa perbezaan dengan jawapan di calculator, very good, okay, means you, you didn't round off lah anything, okay, so bagus, this B we done also, so C, perimeter of shaded region, shaded region kamu kat sini, okay, good question this one, you already know this length, I think, did we find out this lah, wait lah, uh, oh, not yet, belum lagi, so you have to count. This one is 3 guys. This one is 5. Kita dah tahu dari soalan tadi. The uh, info before. Theorem Pythagoras. Yes. Untuk cari panjang this one, BT. To find the length of BT, we must use Pythagoras theorem. Kita kena cari OT dulu. Lepas tu tolak dengan OB ni. Kita boleh cari panjang BT. So can you tell me guys the length of BT you get? Can you share to me your value of BT length? Panjang BT dulu.
Yes, 4.434. Yes, correct. Okay. 4.434 cm, betul. Okay, 4.434. Okay, so how you get, guys, square root? 8 square plus 5 square, theorem Pythagoras. Okay, you can count and see. You will get third 89. Okay, kalau kamu nak tinggal jawapan macam third 89, tolak dengan panjang ni juga boleh ya, sebab lebih accurate, lebih tepat nilai dia, third 89 tu. Okay, the third 89 value is more accurate. So third 89 minus 5 is your length for BT. You can write BT equals third 89 minus 5. Okay, it's more accurate actually. So final answer still for decimal place lah. Jawapan akhir masih empat tempat perpuluhan. Okay, so sekarang kita tahu yang ni. We know, wait lah, let me change color first. Nanti semua pening dengan warna merah. We know this one, we know this one, we know this one. Okay, now we have to find this length. Can you all find out for me guys, panjang lengkok uh, AB ni, the length of arc AB, what do you get? You already know the radius, you also know the angle. Length of arc AB. Beri jawapan kepada empat tempat perpuluhan. Ah, four decimal place. I want. Two point seven nine five. Ah, okay lah, can can lah. My calculator two point seven nine three still can zero point zero zero two two tak banyak. Okay, so can two point seven nine five or two point seven nine three also can. Okay, so ini adalah jawapan bagi panjang lengkok AB, the length of arc AB. Okay, so basically after you get all these values, kamu tambah yang ni semua plus all these values up. So can you tell me guys, the final answer, this value plus this value plus this plus this, all the one I circle. Apa jawapan akhir kamu? Now we're finding perimeter, jadi kena tambah semua CC. We have to plus all the sides, cause it's perimeter. Also for decimal places, okay? Fifteen point two three. Yes, correct, accurate. Okay, very good. Betul. Okay, so you can see the working over here for six B and six C. Okay, so this is your working. So you will get fifteen point two two nine oh is fifteen point two three lah. Betul. Okay. So, uh, can you all understand my working, guys? And can you understand the question? Boleh faham seluruh soalan ni? If you can understand, please comment yes because lepas ni kita akan pergi kepada soalan susah. After this, this last half an hour, we are going two hard questions. Dua soalan susah. So get your mind ready. Circular measure ni bab sukatan membulat selalunya suka nak tanya soalan kebat. So far soalan ni bukan kebat lagi but the coming one is a kebat. Okay, so understand lah. Guys, are you all ready to take the challenge? Semua berani ke nak hadapi cabaran ni? Please comment yes if you are ready. This one really hard because you need to modify the diagram now. Kamu kena modifikasikan rajah sekarang. Okay, ready ya? Huh? Okay. Good. Come. Mungkin soalan macam ni akan datang dalam exam kamu. Maybe. Okay, this one. Have you all seen this question before? Pernah nampak tak soalan ni? Or is it a new question to you? I think you all never seen before lah, I assume. 
So let me change to red first. Okay, so now they want you to find the shaded area. Okay, guys, is it possible uh, to find the shaded area? Adakah ia uh, apa? boleh tak cari uh, apa luas kawasan berlorek ni menggunakan bentuk ni sedia ada? Is it possible to find the area using this existing shade, the area of shaded region? Yes or no? Can we exactly use this shape to find the area? Yes, existing shape, no. Very good. Kami tak boleh gunakan bentuk sedia ada. Okay, so you need to modify this diagram. So can you tell me what shape can you form inside this diagram? Apa bentuk yang kamu boleh lukiskan sini untuk cari yang ni? To find the shaded area. What can we do over here? Kebat dah guys, yang ni sangat kebat. Sebab tak ada apa-apa maklumat yang kamu boleh guna kat sini. The only info you have based on the question Wow, you guys really smart. Kamu semua memang pandai. Wow. I impressed actually you can give me this answer. Very good guys. Triangle. Correct. Not bad. This is the triangle. Okay. So dari segi tiga ini, from this triangle, it's very easy for you to find the, yes, using radius. Because the question told on top here. Each of radius 3 cm, the cylindrical container, salah satu dia, jejari dia, 3 cm. Okay, so this is why the radius is so important, the info over here. Okay, so dari info radius, jejari tu, kamu boleh letak kat sini dah. 3, 3, 3, 3. And now guys, this triangle, what type of triangle is this? Apa jenis segi tiga ni? Everything is 6. Yes, equilateral, not isosceles, huh, Shamna? Segi tiga sama, CC, CC sama. Okay, so equilateral triangle. Isosceles is the kaki sama. Okay, so all of this same length. I'll use this sign. Huh? So can you tell me, wah, oh, straight away answer me at the 60 degrees. Okay, you know my question also. 60 degree. 60 degree convert to radian, guys. What is the value? 60 darjah dalam bentuk radian. Apa jawapan dalam bentuk radian? 60 darjah. Okay, you can give pi over 3 lah, easier. Okay, no need to give the decimal. This one more accurate. Pi over 3. Okay, very good. So up till here, you analyze everything already. So now guys, can you find this area? The shaded region? Easy, right? To find. What formula do you use? Apa concept kamu? To find the shaded region inside there. Can you like type out the equation you use? Like area of what minus what? Very good, Anaga. Luas segi tiga tolak tiga kali luas sektor. So guys, you have to know ah, the area of each sector over here. Let me rub first ah, because a bit confusing. Okay, you need to know in this triangle, Luas setiap sektor ini, the area of each sector is the same. Why I say it's the same? Mengapa saya kata sama? Semua sudut ni 60 darjah. Dan setiap jejari ni adalah tiga. So you have to kaji back the formula. S, eh sorry. A equals R, half R square theta radian. Luas kamu bergantung kepada jejari dan sudut saja. Your area is affected by radius and angle only. So if your radius is a constant, and your angle is also a constant. Kalau jejari dan sudut kamu adalah pemala, maksudnya yang ni juga adalah pemala. Luas is also same for each sector. Luas setiap sektor sama sebab jejari dan sudut sama. So can you understand this guys? Boleh faham? You have to always refer to the formula untuk kaji hubungan. The formula tell a lot of things actually. So it tells the relationship between the quantities. Okay, so uh, after you get this, I think you all can solve already lah for the this thing. So can anyone tell the final answer what you get for this one? Just to check with my answer for the area of shaded region.
you can give your answer to four decimal place empat tempat perpuluhan Semua sibuk kira sekarang, I think. A lot very busy counting. Anyone got answer can share. Huh? Siapa-siapa dah ada jawapan untuk luas kawasan berlorek boleh share kat saya. 1.4514. Let me check uh, Andy for you. I want to give chance for others to try also before I reveal the answer. Okay, two people get same answer. Some more, some more. One point four five one three. Okay. Yeah, I think can be accepted. Jawapan skema 1.449. Okay, so I think you get the correct answer still. Jawapan masih betul, so don't worry. So you can see the schema, I mean my working over here. Okay, so this is how we do it. Focus on part A, ya, guys. Jangan tengok B dulu. Okay, so you can see that I use 60 degrees. Sebab this is an equilateral triangle. Segi tiga, sisi sama. So that's why I can say 60 degrees. And then angle in radians, I can convert jadi 1.0473 radian. Okay. And then area of triangle, this triangle over here, you will get 15.5885. Kamu boleh guna setengah AB sin C, that formula. Okay. So you will sub the values. Radius is 6 and the sine angle is 60. And then area of one sector, kamu tak perlu cari tiga sektor berasingan, ah, guys. No need to find three sector separately the area because the area is same. So just get one sector area direct times three. Okay? So you will get this answer. So then you take the area of triangle, luas segi tiga, tolak luas tiga sector, area of three sector. So you will get this answer, 1.4495. Okay? Can you understand, guys? Boleh faham soalan ni? I know it's a bit hard, this question, but I hope you understand. Try to comment if you understand. Understand, now? Huh? Okay, now we look at B. Oh, this one's a good question, actually. Stretch length of band. Okay, guys, can you tell me? Stretch length of band, actually, what quantity they want? Quantity apa? Whenever they talk about length. Very good perimeter again. Okay, never change, guys. Always we'll talk about perimeter only. So if you look at the diagram over here, where is the perimeter they want? They basically want all of this. The one I highlight with red, huh? you see. The whole thing over here. This is the stretch length of band. Okay, sometimes you might misinterpret the question, so I just tell you first. Lah. This is the perimeter they want. So can you tell me, guys, how to find this whole perimeter over here, the one I highlight? Any idea? I'll try to wrap first huh, this one so that you can see the diagram. What can you modify some more? Apa yang kamu boleh modify lagi kat, to the segi tiga I draw over here? You have to modify some more to find some more lengths. Any idea? Any cadangan? Just give only. Don't worry. Just bagi cadangan kamu. What is your opinion? Add three times the length of arc of a quarter circle to the perimeter of the triangle. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want the perimeter of triangle, Tarun. This is the length of stretch band. We want this one only all of this outside we don't want the triangle inside the one i highlight is the the perimeter they want itu adalah perimeter yang soalan nak apa yang saya highlight 
okay the one only not the triangle so what can we modify if we want to find that length the arcs are the curved parts the triangle side length is the tangent length that's why uh triangle side length is the tangent oh you mean this length ah, Tarun? do you mean these two length ah okay okay i got your idea okay correct okay guys so basically what we can do over here can you see these uh, guys we can actually form a rectangle over here did you all think of this we can form a rectangle over here and if we know this length is six what is this length guys you already solved a big headache over here yes six okay you already know this two length six so somehow we have to modify because we don't know now this length this length oh one more rectangle over here like actually this one also six at the bottom here okay so what can we find over here guys what formula we can use this one over here apa formula kita boleh guna sekarang to find that length what do we call that one yes correct sj theta very good okay so what is this angle guys how to find this angle all the length of arc will be same same guys semua panjang lengkok tu akan sama yes very good tarun 360 rectangle angle 90 90 this is 60 okay so 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 60 so you get 120 times pi bahagi 180 so you will get 2 over 3 pi lah. okay so jawapan this one in radian is 2 over 3 pi okay so can you all count now the perimeter basically you just need to count one length of arc times three that's all the tiga saja yang ni enam 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 18 tambah sesuatu. Yes, correct. 3 times 2 pi. Oh, you already told the answer. Times by 3 later, so you get 2 pi. So just give me the final answer now. What is your total perimeter? Apa jawapan akhir kamu sekarang? Thirty six point eight four. Yes, correct, correct. Okay, accurate. So this is how we do it, guys. Okay, you can see over here for number B, the area of the major sector, like what Tarun said, we actually can take two pi minus pi over two minus pi over two minus one over three pi. Okay, semua dahulu tu sembilan puluh sembilan puluh enam puluh saya dah tukar kepada bentuk gradient, guys. I already converted the degree mode to gradient mode. So this is why everything is in pi. So the sudo just now, uh, he told 2 over 3 pi for that sector just now you saw. Okay. So you can find the length of arc for one sector. Panjang lengkok satu sector adalah 2 pi. So then 2 pi times 3 because you have 3 length of arc. Tiga panjang lengkok. Jadi you will get 18.852 cm. And then you plus the 6 cm. Just now I draw rectangle, right? Tadi saya lukis segi empat tepat. Setiap segi empat tepat tu panjang dia enam. Tiga segi empat tepat, lapan belas. Okay, so that's why your final answer is 36.852 or anything. Yeah, yeah, we still get the mark. A lot of time examiner concern, do you get the 36 or not? 36 tu lah yang paling penting. You must get the 36. Point after that doesn't matter that much. Just make sure nombor bulat kamu kat situ betul. The 36 must be correct. Okay. So, can you understand this question, guys? Boleh faham soalan ni? We done this question already. This is Nagui Sambilan trial. Okay. So, now we go to the last question, okay? Soalan terakhir kita hari ni. So, ready, guys, for last question? Can you comment? This one very hard, huh? Hard. So as long as we get the correct number bulat, then the decimal, yeah, correct, Andy, yes. That is what I meant. Okay, guys, last question, huh? All ready for this one? This one is so quite difficult. Okay, ready, yeah, come. Okay, Len, the architect wants to build this one, basically. 
So they are asking you, is the cost enough or not? This is the question. So you need to justify, you need to show your working to show whether is it more than 13,000 or less than 13,000. Kamu kena tahu kos air kamu kurang dari 13K atau lebih dari 13K. So now, kamu kena cari luas seluruh yang ni. You need to find the area of this whole thing. Okay? So can we find this area directly, guys? Can I ask you, adakah kita boleh cari luas ni secara terus? Yes or no? The segment two. Can we find the segment directly? Very good, Andy. No. Okay? Yes, no. Kena confident. Jangan cakap tanda soal. Tak boleh. If you recall, guys, I told you at the starting of the lesson, one formula untuk find area of segment. Can you remind me, guys, what is the concept we use to find area of segment? Just now I told earlier one formula. Yes, very good, Anaga. This is the concept we are applying here. Sector minus triangle. So where is the triangle, guys? Adakah kamu nampak segi tiga kat sini? Can you see a triangle over here, anywhere? You need to modify the diagram, actually. Yeah, you cannot see anything. So you have to modify the diagram. What do we call this, guys? This line I draw here, BD. Apa kita panggil? What is the term for this? And also AC. No, no, not diameter. This is rectangle. Yes, Anaga, diagonal. Diameter is for circle, Andy. Diagonal is for rectangle or square or other things also lah okay so this is diagonal so can you see now guys can you see a sector now boleh nampak tak sector sekarang sector minus triangle there eh? you see how you modify the diagram this is why chapter ni susah sebab kamu kena modify diagram you need to change the diagram to allow you to use a formula okay or else you cannot find kamu tak boleh cari okay so they told you already it's 13 meter and 10 meter Mm, now you see the thing, right? 13, this one is 10, this one 13, this one is 10. Okay, guys, so AC, how can we find panjang AC? Any idea? What formula? Yes, Pythagoras theorem again. Pythagoras theorem play an important role in this chapter. Memainkan perwanan yang penting. Okay, so you can actually find out 13 square plus 10 square. Square root answer, 16.40. Jadi seluruh yang ni, panjang dia 16.4012. Okay, kalau saya nak yang ni, wait, huh? I show different colors. If I want only this length, guys, how to find? Saya nak panjang yang ni saja. Sebab panjang ni menggambarkan jejari. This length show the radius. Yes, Anaga, correct. Divided by 2. So you divide 2, 8.2006 cm. Okay, very good. But now the problem is we don't have the angles. Kita tak ada apa-apa info tentang sudut. So we want to know this angle, this angle. Then everything we can find already. Semua benda kita boleh cari. All of this length same, guys. Everything is 8.2006. Okay? Eh, cannot assume, Andy. Kamu tak boleh anggap sebagai 90 degrees. No, no, no. There is a calculation you can use. Do you, can you see the bigger picture, guys? Nampak segi tiga yang besar ni. You can actually do something over here. Wait, huh? This big triangle over here. Can you see you have 13 and 10 over here? Can you find this angle? Adakah kamu boleh cari sudut ni? This is a 90 degree, ya? Huh? Ah, there. What formula? Sine, cos or tangent? This one. Yes, very good. So tangent, 10 over 13. Opposite over adjacent. And then shift tangent. Kamu dapat sudut ni 37.57. Okay, then how about this angle? How to find inside here? We are slowly solving the angle to get this angle eventually. Kita akan dapat yang tu pada akhir. How do we find this one first? Sudut yang ni macam mana? Yes, 90 minus. So you will get this angle 52.43. So what is this angle then? This one over here. Apa nilai sudut ni? Same, very good. Because radius, segi tiga, sisi, eh, kaki sama. Isosceles triangle. Because radius length will always remain the same. So what is this angle now, guys? Can you find a D? Apa nilai sudut ni sekarang? Try to count. 
give your answer in degree first dalam bentuk darjah dulu very good samnan 75.14 okay so make sure you have to use radian ah because now we using area for the triangle kita boleh guna darjah sebab sign jawapan ni but if area we have to use radian so can you count the area in radian for me what will be your answer Use pi is 3.142 ah guys jangan guna pi dalam kalkulator kamu What is your answer in radian Four decimal place also can empat Uh, tempat perpuluhan You should get 1.3116 I think Do you get this answer guys? 1.3116 Can you say yes if you get this answer? Boleh respon ya? Yeah? Just to see whether you all know how to con convert or not. Okay, so this is the angle in radian actually. Okay, can now. Huh? Okay, good. So now, can you calculate the area of this segment directly? Can you tell me what's the answer? Use the area of sector minus triangle because you have all the values now already. This one is the radius. Ah, huh? ini adalah jejak radia. This is your al. Try nak yang ini dulu, the area of the segment first. Just one segment now, guys. No need to times two yet. Yes, correct, Sugan. 11.6021. Yes. So later, you want to find this also with just times two. Okay, kita darab dua saja. Okay, we just need to times two. And then, ah, uh, wait, ah, uh, let me go back to the question. Okay, eh, hey, not this one. Okay, so 11, yeah, 11.62 or 11.60 also can lah masih boleh diterima. So then times two. Okay, what is the area of rectangle, guys? Apa luas segi empat tempat ini? Area of rectangle. This one you can count very fast. Yes, 130. And then you plus by. Kamu kena tambah dengan dua darab dengan 11.62. Okay, two times area of segment. So kamu ada dua segment. You have two segment. So total area you get is 153.24. Okay, if you do your working lah, you can find out. Okay, so now we are now we look at the question. What the question one actually? Now we have to answer back the question because this question is not talking about finding area only. So we look first, ah. Huh? So they say one meter square is eighty five. Okay, satu meter square jumlah dia alam lapan puluh lima. So now we have one five three point two four meter square. So what is the total alam guys? Can you calculate for me? Berapa jumlah sekarang? Dalam unit RM. One three o two two. Okay, still accepted. Can or one three o point two five also can lah. One three o two five. Okay, anything between this still can. Okay, so can is it yes or no? Is the allocation enough? No, very good. Jumlah yang dipuntukan tu tak mencukupi because this one is more than this one. Okay, guys, we done for today. Kita dah habis. We done today's class at the circular measure. Okay, so one quote for you all. Just one quote lah before you all leave. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. Kamu kena bangkit bila kamu jatuh. This is the most important thing. Whenever you fall, you must rise up. Just like bila kamu sekarang nak hadap SPM. Always rise back after you fall. Kalau kamu dapat maka teruk, it's okay. Just forget about it, fight back. Because goal kita SPM, remember guys, our goal is for SPM. 
not media. Media kamu boleh dapat A plus. You can get A plus for admits, but SPM you might not get A plus. So make sure your SPM is the one that get the A plus, not other exam yet. Other exam is just to see your performance is where only. Nak tengok tahap kamu kan mana. Even trial, trial also just to assess you only. How high is your standard? But SPM is the real challenge, okay? So still fighting, okay? You all still fighting for SPM. Okay, don't give up in this fight. Kita masih berjuang. Okay, so if you need help always in maths and end maths, you can always uh, refer to my YouTube channel. So anyone new here, please subscribe. Huh? Kamu boleh tengok channel saya dan subscribe dulu. Boleh kongsi kat kawan-kawan juga. Okay, so can you give me feedback? How is the class today? Macam mana sesi? Can you understand better about this chapter? This one is a new chapter. Saya baru ada. Adakah yang membantu kamu ke hari ini? Help, ah? Huh? Okay, good. So I hope this one helped for your this thing. SPM 2018. Uh, Sugan, can you send me the question? Then I can look for you. Just PM me my WhatsApp. Siapa siapa baru tak kat sini? Are you all in my group? Just want to know. Ah, okay, good lah. Mm. I hope the starting I talk about the basic also help you all lah, basically. Today you come and.